Ms. Finch, I, I was just going to ask you on the CDCs, um, would they support changes in the program if authorized debentures greater than $4 million? Yes, we, am I? Yeah. Yes, we would. Um, and the reason being um, is because, as I said in my testimony, we're looking at pro multiple projects. So I've got borrowers out there personally that have hit the one and a half million, or if they're a public policy, a two million dollar uh, limit. And if they're a manufacturer, they've hit the four million dollar limit. And, and so to, in order to do a, multiple loans to a, to a borrower, uh, we would be supportive of that. And Ms. Schwartzman, I wanted to run through, uh, you said that um, if you're already doing business as SBIC, it takes a year. Why does it take that long uh, to do, you know, I mean, why does it take that long if you're looking to expand or whatever? Well, that's, that's a good good question. I'm not sure I know the answer. I mean, answer does it take that long to implement it, or does it take that long to get an answer? I mean, because one thing, well, the, the, either is too from, long. From, from, just... start, from start to finish. I mean, that's from, um, you know, starting the, the process. Uh, and it's a fairly, um, it's a multi-stage process to get a license. You go, uh, you make an application, then they invite you. Uh, once you make your application, to come in for an interview. If uh, the interview goes well, you get something called a go forth letter, uh, which invites you to make a sort of secondary aspect of the, uh, the application process. And then <clears throat> there's some back, you know, you go back and forth. Uh, and, you know, we, we're, you know, I'd say very diligent about going through that process. And whenever we had questions about our application, we would typically get back within. Uh, two to three days, and so uh, it, a lot of it, I think, is just staffing issues uh, there, and um, um, you know, I think just. But then, how long does it take to, if you're starting from scratch, wanting to set up an SBI? Well, the first the first time we went through it, it took us two years. So, which you know, I'd say for somebody who's going through that, you know, it, as you're going through it, if you knew it was going to take two years, you probably wouldn't do it. Yeah. Um, and you know, clearly, uh, at the time we were doing that, uh, in the beginning, it was around the 2001. Yeah, I can't frame. imagine anything taking two years. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, yeah. No, it, it's, you know, it, it's. I tell my bankers I want a quick yes or no. I did, you know, that yeah. just knows okay yeah. if you don't want it or whatever. But the bottom line, I don't want to drag for 30 days, but two years, you know, that's. Uh, it's not, it's uh, certainly that, that wasn't acceptable. I think th they were going through a period where they, they'd had a lot of problem loans and were making, were changing their procedures and making them much more rigorous and we fully support that and understand it should be a very rigorous and, and thorough process because there's a lot of taxpayer capital at risk. On the other hand, I think, you know, what we're proposing is once they've gone through that vetting process, however long that takes the first time round and you've got funds uh, you've got an existing fund. You have a management team that's that's proven. You have an infrastructure in place. Uh, it ought to be a really expedited process, and a year is way too long. Okay. Uh, just the last question: What uh, what kind of companies? You said you had 33 companies, and how many employees in those companies? Oh gosh, it it ranges from um, you know probably the smallest investment that uh, not the smallest the smallest company has maybe seven or eight employees but you know wonderful margins and you know it's a, a great little business and the largest ones are maybe 2,000 uh, so there's a, a huge range um, thank you I'll yield back